starting now. Hello, all. Mabuha. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my name is Matthew Mabubagal. My pronouns are him. And I am a rising junior or a sophomore um, on a uh, chemical engineering major on the bioengineering biomedical track. Woo! Today, I'm running for the position of president of the Filipino American Student Association. Now, you may be wondering why someone as busy as me would choose such a position to run for. Let's run it back. Okay. <laughs> I came into FOSTA two years ago. <laughs> I came into FOSTA two years ago not knowing anybody except, except Coco and wanting to be involved in a, with the Filipino culture. And I thought, this would be my chance. I'm gonna give it a try, I'm gonna see what it's like. And throughout that time, I learned a lot, and I grew as a person. I grew as a student. I grew as a dancer. Also, <laughs> oh, didn't see it, damn. Okay, and I grew as a musician, and I grew as a Filipino. Um, now it is my turn to try and leave this org to grow into something bigger than it is today. Just as it has grown me into all those things I prefaced a few seconds ago. Filipinos are often a group that does not get the spotlight. Um, we are an underrepresented group, especially in STEM. And knowing this is a STEM school, we do not get a lot of recognition, even though celebrities in the past recent years have given us a kind of slight view into our culture. I think we can do more as an org and as Filipinos and Filipino Americans to be more seen by our community and not just UMBC community, but wider community, D6, Maryland, DMV as a whole. <clears throat> For this, I have to my goal, uh, set out goals for myself as president and for the Lord if I'm elected, in which these goals will accumulate into um, becoming larger, open, fossil holding larger scale events, not just Istahan, not just going to semi, but also holding large scale events in which these six schools are involved outside companies, Filipino companies are involved as well. And these events, most likely they will be service events, charity events, um, will be able to, one, cater towards the UMBC community, FASA, um, FASA members, as well as other UMBC students who choose to attend, cater and reach out towards the D6 community and D6 schools, as well as any other schools who wish to attend these larger events and three, to support those in the Philippines who have less than what we have now. Um, I learned a lot this year, this, uh, as, as, not just as treasurer, but also as father. Um, for treasurer, I did learn how to budget and how our finances work. I learned how to properly organize and hold our events to make them more fun and effective. <coughs> I learned how to deal with outside entities outside of FOSSA, such as SABSC and ECS, which are heavily involved in the financing of our org and organizing large-scale events, such as Pistot Um From what I have learned, I developed a set of kind of mini goals that I would like to meet in the coming year, um, if elected. These goals are as follows. We will begin to plan these large-scale events early. These big events are very delicate um, and take a lot of planning. The sooner we plan these, the better. We will also try to increase public relations via word of mouth to other orgs, to other schools, and to the Filipino community as a whole. Reaching out will be a bigger part of what I will try to encourage my board to do, what I will do myself. And um, I will probably be working with um, members such as EVP in order to achieve this goal. Four, oh, sorry. Three, we will be expanding the scale of our fundraisers. 
um, I will be working with the treasurer of next year to realize this goal. Um, this year, I did see a lot of potential in the fundraisers we held, especially the successful, the very successful ones, such as um, our photo card fundraiser, which I worked on with our graphic designers and our historians. Um, Coffee House was also a very successful chari uh, charity event. But I do see these events being bigger next year, especially because we are expanding our board. Um, <clears throat> so, expanding the scale of our fundraisers will be another large part of realizing the bigger goal for larger events in order to fund these events. And four, to collaborate with entities outside UNBC. Um, like I said, with the internal and external vice president, this would be a lot more possible to organize, as I can help. Um, and um, <clears throat> finally, five, begin correspondence with other D6 schools to maintain a relationship and also mend relationships where needed. These are large goals. However, over the past year, I've learned things about myself as a student, as a board member, and as a father to help mitigate stress and help balance my time. As of now, I have began to no longer force myself to finish in four years. Chemical engineering is a difficult major. If you can avoid it, do <laughs> it. But I, I love what I do, but I know it will take a lot more time so I'm not going to finish in four years. Um, and also as a parent, most, yeah, sorry. A third of parents, undergraduate parents, do not graduate within six years. But two thirds don't graduate within six years. A third do. So, Coco and I are the minority, but we're sticking to it. I will also be taking a letter course load next semester in order to, one, help mitigate stress, and two, try to be more active with or if, elected to this position, or to mitigate stress if I'm not. Um, and also I will be scheduling my time with FASA, my school time, and my dad time a lot better. Um, I've used tools such as Notion and Google Calendar in order to help mitigate that kind of stress. Finally, I would like to talk a little bit more about being a dad and what that has really taught me. One, look out for your peers and for others. That paternal instinct of just being kind of like, don't touch them, is very strong with me. And selected, I would like, I promise that I will make sure that my, <coughs> sorry, that board is well treated, well organized. Um, however, I will be firm when needed. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, there are times when there are disagreements on board or things need to get done, but if things need to get done, I will make sure that they get done because that is what we need to do in order to achieve these goals. And third, finally, have patience and restraint during conflicts and de-escalation is a big part of that. Um, makes it not easy to take care of. I will preface that, but being with her over the past Five months of her life has taught me, take a deep breath, come back in, get it done. Overall, there is a lot to do next year, and while the task is daunting, I am ready to take up the torch and lead FASA into the future. I am ready to point the way.